Okay, so there's one thing I forgot to talk about. So, let's just say we open up our picture of the Joker again. And we already talked about these different presets here that we can mess around with. But there's also these presets on the other side that we can use. Now, these can come in handy. It might take a little bit of time to experiment with them to get your vector image to look exactly how you want it. But instead of changing the colors over here, you notice how it would change both files. If we just change what's on this side, it doesn't change what our original picture looks like. So the first thing that we can do is that we can click on this layers button here. So what that does is we can choose what colors we want to uh, mix together or to merge into one layer if we don't need all of those. So let's just go ahead and take all the green layers. Well, I guess there aren't a whole lot of green layers. There's one right there. And let's go with something crazy, green and red. Let's see what happens when we merge the green and red layers. So merge selected layers. That stays the same. But now all of those colors that are green and red, they mix together into one color to give it kind of like an average of the colors. So that's one way that you can simplify things a little bit. So you can also add more colors. If I keep clicking this plus button, each time I hit the plus button you see how it added more colors there. It makes your picture more detailed. So that's another cool thing you can do. You can add more details. That kind of does the same thing. You're just going to have to experiment with that to see exactly what you want it to look like and the border width. So when you've used your vector program there is the fill and the stroke of your different shapes. The border width it's kind of the same thing. So if I keep clicking this I know it's going to be hard to notice at first but your colors tend to change a little bit and you'll see more outlines in just a second. So I can see a little bit more outlines like underneath his chin forming but after I click this a few more times, it'll drastically change, like this one right here. So our white border is really popping out. Let's see what happens when you click it again. So there's just a couple other tools that you can use to mess around with. For some reason, that went back to normal. Let's try the G-code generator. I have no idea what that does. Well. I have no clue. My computer just kind of froze. So maybe don't use the G-code generator. Uh, let's go ahead and refresh, refresh this page. Yep, now I've done it. But anyways, mess around with those different tools there to help you get exactly what you want. Most of the time when I've used this, I've just used these couple ones on the side here. I've gotten good results with it. So try it out again, see what happens, mess around with it and we'll talk to you soon.